Steph, it's gonna be spiffy. Spiffy! Spiffy. <laughs> Yeah, it's super cold in northern Minnesota. Icy roads, the whole deal. Look at that dirty truck. So today, we gotta work on our zipper wands that got spilled on and we got old Scarface. We're gonna take care of at my wrap place. This ought to be interesting. One-handed. Oh, I ain't getting in there. All right, gotta make my way to the front. Great, they almost had me busted. Got you on video, how you doing? <laughs> Here, hold the camera. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I can edit everything, but the owner, one of the owners here at Stats, how do you, what do you think of Scarface there? That the, looks uh, a little rough. That's pretty. <laughs> Got another one out there for you too. Okay. So different looking, but I'll take yeah. in the back there with you and help disassemble what we need to and Perfect. let you cut to it. Can I come in through the back door? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's the other one. This is one of mine from Gosh, 2015, I want to say. Oh, and I got some stickers and stuff in the box I got to take in. I'll come back for those. Get on out of there. He's got a project he's finishing up in there. And so what I'm going to do is I've got a school I've got to go look at. Eh, that locked, I'm surprised. That thing is so iced up. The roads are so incredibly icy. I was just went and had to look at a school that we're scheduling already the first week of, of uh, June, which is wonderful. So now I'm going to sneak in the back of our wrap place here. That stats wraps in Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Let's sneak up on him. I have special permission. I'm sure I do. Hi, honey. I'm home. Oh <laughs> How are you doing? Good. We gotta say hello to the puppy. How are you doing, Shelby? I just yep. You you maybe don't need that much caffeine, but <laughs> yeah, don't drink yeah. that. Don't drink caffeine. Don't be like me. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? Good. You're working on your musical instrument now. Yeah, we're doing it. Awesome. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? I saw it earlier when it came in. Well, now we're going to work on Zipper and Butler. We're going to work on what we're calling Scarface over here. Compliments of our... Uh, so I'm back with Matt. Matt, I'm not sure if you made it in on the first one. How's it going? That's great, but what do you think of Scarface there? Did he do a good job or not? Oh, he did a good job damaging it. Damaging it. Well, he's sometimes known to be able to damage stuff. <laughs> So I loosen these up. So what we're doing is we're taking these side panels off. I'm going to loosen up this on the super spinner. Yeah, we've got a regular one to work on too. Uh, I get that. That was a half inch. By the way, I'm not superhuman strength. I did this before I got here. Matt, you're impressed though, aren't you? I'm very yeah, impressed. Yeah, you are. I can tell. <laughs> Pulls that out. Get that. Well, why won't you come out? You just have to be like that. There. there. So that's out of the way. And also, if you see this on the top here, that just swiveled pivots and comes off. Now on the zipper is this handy dandy other tool yeah. and it fits. Imagine that. Built and right in. Built right in. So Matt is still pulling out these screws over there. Oops, look at that. Oh, you know what I forgot to get? I, I can install that later, but I forgot to stop in my place and get Teflon tape for that other one and I forgot to get anti-seize for these so people you want anti-seize because this is stainless against aluminum so this actually does have a little anti-seize on there yet we may add more you want a mat you, here you go go ahead and try it I got it good golly the guy's got skills it's almost like you've been <laughs> in the auto industry automotive maybe oh, body work a couple years a couple years like 20 some 20 some <laughs> you don't even look 20 years old put oh, your lion i'm 34. <laughs> now there's a rubber gasket on here we do not want to take off there's an elephant in the background just so you know so <laughs> we're going to clean up these edges in which we don't care if we got wrap into this we actually are probably going to avoid that and just go up to yeah. kind of that area we'll go just to yep. just past the line where the black yep we ain't going to worry about in here because it's dirty and it'll get covered up so we'll do that and then do it on the back and then we're also boy that needs some cleaning yet too but then we'll keep that zipper tag there which is the identification tag and its serial number so we're going to make this all look purdy again the covers are off and it'll expose the real spinny round blow by zippers super spinner things you know what those are right matt it's a scientific term right yes scientific everything is scientific here so we could actually do wrapping in here and then open up these holes and get it cleaned up and then we're going to stop right here probably above it a little bit so that 
the underside doesn't get hooked and the spray comes out and hits it and blasts up the graphics we're putting on in the wrap. I'm just making that up, by the way, Matt. Oh, that's exactly <laughs> what I was going to do. You're going to go right, right yep. short of the edge. There you are. You don't want to have anything hanging there. Yeah, you see that spinner? That's our helicopter right there. There's two of them. So here it is, and uh, we're going to put a Zipper SS sticker on the front. Uh, we're going to replace this one. This is also made here at Stats. And we'll replace that one. So we're going to get this thing all pretty back up and gusted. And we're looking to uh, put a wrap on here of a black wrap as well. And for right now, we're going to go with this color blue. A little Sagerish blue. So is that a Sager Sauce product? <laughs> no, we don't have any of that here. You don't. Mark, you know? Yeah. This is just isopropyl alcohol. It's what we use on most wraps to clean everything up. Isopropyl alcohol. 91%? 70%. 70% so, in this so case. 30% water. Okay. And they do make a 91%, which we'll use sometimes in our industry and in certain spot techniques and stuff. So yep. we find this takes off pretty much everything we need. We don't need to get too corrosive with it. And then we'll, of course, we'll pull off this old decal here too. He just clean it up so he doesn't have to get quite so dirty. Shop dog, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> She's very entertaining. Yeah. See, who's calling me? Hey, it's California. I'll take this. So you see this? This is actually what the color of that was back originally. So it has discolored a little over time, but this the elements, but that's kind of what the color was. So while Matt's getting something over there again, let me show you my mad skills. I'm gonna get the corner of this. Hopefully it'll be in one piece. And uh, I'm gonna just pull this thing right off. Now that sticker has been on there since 2015. Actually this one, I'm not sure if I've ever replaced that. Oh, I should have maybe let him hit that with the heat. <laughs> I won't show off anymore. So after we get the sticker off, we're gonna take some adhesive remover to get the residual glue that's on there. Comes in a can. It's about $20 a can, actually. It's some good stuff. So you spray it on, let it sit for a minute. I usually take the plastic razor blade and then scrape it again. Scrape it again? Just, just to get any of the glue that's, so you can see it coming off there yep. if you get in there, Mark. Oh yeah. So you get all that gunk all off the of there. All the goopy goopy. So that'll take it right off. Yep. So that's good because I left you some to practice up here too when I got two or bunches. <laughs> you got a little end. Oh, I was showing up. So then the most important thing after you use that yep. or you wrap it is to re-clean it with the alcohol. Alcohol. Because that will take off anything. So if you try to wrap it after the adhesive remover, it's not going to stick at all. Should have made Brady come disassemble everything. No, we want to be able to have all the parts. <laughs> <laughs> So now we got it all clean. We got the old stuff off. Yep. We're just gonna kind of roughly place some vinyl in front and kind of figure out where we're gonna trim it at. He's gonna get it on it, then we'll trim it from there probably too as I've watched this happen. So it's so easy and convenient too. <laughs> it's very easy and convenient. We could, uh, I can lower that handle down flat, by the way. Okay. When you I want think right time. now we're good. So then you just kind of, you always leave a little bit extra. So now if I hold that up there, I'm going to trim that. this short. But we have enough on top. Yep. Or when we trim it, you're not going to see it's Perfect. Short. What if I said I didn't like that blue, Matt? Well, there's lots of options. You oh, I was going to just say, go ahead and tell me to lump it like everyone else. You would. know, I could do that, <laughs> but with vinyl, there is no wrong color. See, look at that. He's being customer service oriented. I'm just testing the heck out of him. Look at that. He's just putting her on there. Super simple, easy. So you kind of just place it and make sure it fits. Go around and... You get a wrinkle on it, you don't fret. No. Nope. Hit it with some heat, pull on it. That's the type it is. And this is a different type of a wrap material. What, is this, you were saying, for motorcycles and such, so more aggressive? Yep, this has got a more aggressive glue, so it's going to stick really good uh, once it's heated. So right now you can still pull it off and move it, but yep. as soon as you squeegee it and heat it up, it's not coming off. I'll have to bring it back to you to heat it and take it off, won't yep, I? That's what it's going to end Another one in. of those, don't attempt this at home. You know I will try, though. I'm sure you will. <laughs> We've had a couple phone calls. So I did this. And so I did this. That was just last week. <laughs> yep. Now we got it in place. So you kind of work your way down, being that it's super high tack, so you can get as much of the glue Good out as catch, you can. Good catch, by the way. Oh, look at that. That's so smooth. So you just keep working down, so you always have an exit for the air to go. Especially Beautiful. Especially with this high tack stuff. The high tack will really leave bubbles if you if you don't squeegee it in the right direction. So hopefully I got good enough audio. It's pinging up here high and you're hearing him and you can hear me and because I'm behind the microphone. I went back to my professional 
shotgun microphone. <laughs> we'll see if it works this time, being that there's no <laughs> sound in the background dominating everything, which it always does on the other. I'm gonna pull it to the edge of the table so I can find out where the edge is. All right. So on the bottom. And I'll hold that so it doesn't come down on your head. You see, there's there is some imperfections in the metal, so you can see all yeah. these things there. But we want to get just above the lip so that it's not catching because it's gonna be going over carpet and all that. Stuff. Did you feel so, me rescue that thing from coming down? I did. <laughs> that would have felt good on the face. Oh yeah. So you just take your knife and kind of use the gut edge of the the metal as your guide. Look at that. And that's a good dull knife. Don't use sharp knives. You'll hurt yourself. Use a dull knife. <laughs> well, actually, Mark, in this case, you want to use a sharp knife. Okay. So, now that we got that there. Another one of these. Don't do this at home. Yep. Unaccompanied. Look at that go. All right. And then we'll go slightly over this edge. So you can okay. stretch this stuff. So if you stretch it and kind of use your thumb to... Which is going to be nice. We're going to have covers all along that edge. So, Look it. Yeah. You can stretch it up to 150%. 150%? Yep, so it, wow. it'll, I always try to go back to its normal shape. So okay. Once you heat it, that's when the, the heat really keeps it locked in place. I know this isn't carpet cleaning, but it's, we're fixing our equipment, and you'll see it carpet cleaning later, but I figured we'd show you what we're doing. And if some of you want to try to do this, some people are going to go online and probably buy just cheap wrap online and try to do this themselves. You could. It's not going to last as long. This is a higher grade, unless you can find this stuff, but it's a more heat resilient and what's made to be on motorcycles and stick. Lots of abuse. Yeah. Well, gosh, it's perfect. It's going on the right unit. Yep. So Brady, now... don't you think that's just a license to abuse it? <laughs> You'll be so grounded. I'm telling your mom. You gotta make sure we get all the wrinkles out in the corners. Look at how pretty that is already. So now what wow. I'll do is I'll trim like I said, just about an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch okay. over the lip. So we add a little bit holding so it's Got not her. just a face. Perfect. So you don't want to push too hard to just let the vinyl get cut with the knife. So you're just kind of dragging it on top. You can feel if it's hitting the metal underneath. So when you peel it, you got yep. that nice line. So all of this is going to be hidden again. Yep, so that'll be hidden. And we're just so. going to make her look spiffy. If for some reason we didn't hide it, we'll just put another piece on. The fun of vinyl. Yes. I'm going to do the top here. Kind of the same concept, just like a quarter inch over. And keep kind of peeling as you go so you can see where you're at. So he's just, again, he's, he's forming this right now so then we can continue with other pieces easy. So I'm going to slide over this side, do the same so it's relatively close to what's on that side. Those of you who are that precise, uh, where can they call to get a job? <laughs> <laughs> they can call Stat Wraps. There you go. Yep. Grand Rapids. The friend who makes this unit, Eric, has very, very incredible eye for detail. He would probably be exactly precision on this, by the way. <laughs> see, and that's kind of how we are. We know we yeah. don't see these because yep. it's going to be covered, but we know it's there, you know it's there, right. and the camera knows yep. it's there. So, Eric, don't be watching. Got a couple little edges. So on the mm -hmm. top here, got this lip so we're just gonna go just on that you can kind of feel where the rubber pushing gasket it in is. there mm -hmm. so i'm kind of pushing it in with my finger now yep and then the other rubber gasket is right in here so we're avoiding that too but yep. there's a plate kind of like this in the front here and then this cover we're going to wrap but that cover sits right back on top so now i'm just using the the edges of the machine as a guide and just trimming as we go and now we got the last peel here in the front that. is essentially done. So right up to the O-ring. And now we'll take some heat. This is important. Make sure it'll stick. So this gun doesn't have a gauge. Normally we're about 700 degrees on the gun, but you hold it back so it's just warm to the touch. You don't want to heat it up too too quick or it's going to burn through it. Okay. So you just kind of go around and anywhere it kind of peels up or anything with the heat. And just kind of push it down. Make sure the edges especially stay down. And we're just going. So you can kind of feel it getting warm compared to where we have it heated. And that's what you want. You just want enough heat where the glue is going to activate. Now it's a solid color again. It doesn't look like a leopard anymore. <laughs> so now the front is done. There you are. And we'll be putting a, a 
zipper SS sticker on the front here when we're done too. To, and then we'll replace this Sager sticker for our branding. That's kind of what we do on this SS model. So now the sides and a little bit of I'll that back, the huh? sides and then the back. So yeah. you can do this in one piece if you really wanted to. I find it's easier to do it in multiple pieces. Yeah. Just because of the fact that that's a lot of angles. It's a lot of angles and there's a lot, it's really high tack, like we said. Yeah. So trying to stretch it and everything. Plus you got this in the way. So it's a little <laughs> bit easier to do a pieces. What do you mean that in the way? Come on. <laughs> but the important thing is- I'm You gonna, wanted me to take those off? That ain't happening. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna set this down. Because... Watch your fingers on this magnet. If any of you do this, do you keep your fingers out of that or you'll be hating life. I'm <laughs> telling you, it's as bad as a shark. So now we're gonna move to the back first because the way you want with vinyl, you always want the edges to be facing down so you okay. want to overlap towards the bottom so now we're going to work on an area that's a little more difficult yep. and might take more than one piece to do so i'm going to make sure i clean it again this is with alcohol again and luckily with the excess of what we have there Look that'll that. fit there wow. or, or here so the same concept as the front now that it's all clean just kind of make sure you get it sitting where you want it look at that it's right up against the block and everything which will clean up that block a little bit more later it's just still got some yep. debris on it so you kind of run your finger there just to hold it in place. Yep. You can peel it back a little bit to get that wrinkle out. Give it a little bit of tension. Look and it at that. It kind of forms right to it. Forming great. So now you still still got a squeegee, so I'm going to leave this open on this side. Okay. So that now I can push, <laughs> push the air. The shop dog. Is. Shop dog. Shop dog says it's time for the petting. She's ready. She's, yes. she's feeling neglected. That's right. Neglect. It's so, bad on shop dogs. And we're going to just pull slightly to okay. form around that corner, just like we did on the front. So he's working on the top section again, trying to make sure we don't damage that gasket overing, which if you take that off, it's a whole procedure of moving it on there backwards to get it to fit because it'll it's bigger than what fits in there let's just say it that way it's uh not an easy gasket to replace i just i avoid it so it don't need to come off so same as the front kind of just use the body lines as your guide and just kind of trim so leave about an eighth inch to a quarter again as you're trimming it good not, thing your knife is yellow or we wouldn't see it <laughs> that's true don't push too hard like i said don't rush yourself if you're worried about quality Take your time and go slow. So now we got this side all trimmed up. There it is peeling and the rest of it's sticking fairly well at this point yet yep. too. Yeah. So it'll stick once it's on there once the squeegee kind of activates the glue a little bit. But okay. The, the heat is really what keeps sure. it on. So now this is a little tricky to see, but I got to do the same as I did on the front and kind of get So it's going to go for that edge. lip where it's above the glide, which you can kind of see the top line is where he's going. Because we pound those glides out and switch them around, clean them and so you want to get to a point where it's above that glide and not affected and the crazy stuff that can happen while we're using this or running right. into. So we got that. Look at that compared to that. Oof. So now we will activate this with the with the heat like we did the front. Hot to the touch a bit, not overly heated. So you got to redo it. This isn't like wrapping a car. This is too much detailing. A car, of course, is big plates and panels, and then you got little nooks and crannies and corners and stuff, but. It's a little more detail oriented. Actually, I find the smaller things are a little bit harder to wrap. They are. They absolutely are. Anything, it's the same with us. Anything you're detailing on. So. Yep. yep. Well, and I'm not a full time installer. Steph is the one who always does the installs. I oh, do the designs. And she's the one in the back there making noise and heckling she didn't on us. She's going to be on camera today. I see. So. She didn't do her nails today. <laughs> ping, ping, ping. See that? Those are the spinners underneath there. Ooh, that's the money right there. Now we got this piece. So you've prepped it, cut it. Yep, same concept. We're gonna put this piece on just like the other ones. This looks like dirt, but it's not. It's just, it's smooth, and that's just what affected the color on the anodizing. This piece is actually pretty simple. Cool. I'm trying to get underneath that. A little bit. It's a little tricky, but I think I got it. Yeah, I know, you want me to take that off too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think that looks very easy to nope, do. No, not. Careful not to cut what's already down. Yeah. Skills. Mad skills. There's that corner. Wow. See, if you look, I mean, you really honestly can't even tell. Well, I can't because it was blurry, but you really can't tell. That's like great. Then we're gonna have to rotate. Yeah. Without getting your fingers in this magnet. That thumb catch your finger eating, grabbing 
doesn't look like it'd be fun. Well, it makes you cry like a little schoolgirl, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so if you already see, you can see what we're covering. And again, it's just the finish all marred up. It just doesn't look good when you're taking it in to do cleaning. And it's unfortunate. Eric said, the inventor, Eric Hill, said I could send it back and he'd strip it down and refinish it. But we're just doing this because... I'm lazy, Matt. <laughs> and I want to try it. It's so, a good way to make it look good. Again. Yeah, and if others have got the situation, I guess I'm trying it first. So then I can report back. So is that the tag edge? So that is the tag. There, there look at that. It just bubbled right out. Yeah, put it right that in, under his nose so he couldn't even see. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I can do a little fancy light thing. Ha! Ah, look at that. That helps. It's starting to expose. Whoa. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Got a little bit of trim in there. That's where you use a doll knife, right? A doll knife, <laughs> doll always. Knife. And then you gotta cut it six times. Yeah, that's right. Well there, he's gonna hit her with some heat. Yep. And then we'll cover her up the rest of the scar face. So, uh, you got a little bit excited. We were watching marching band videos, yes! weren't we? <laughs> oh, yeah. He's reveling on March Sager days of marching band. That was band. great. Isn't yeah. it fun? I know. Marching yeah. band geeks, you can't get away from it. So, we just, during that moment of watching two marching band shows, yep. we we're pulled five. off that sticker, which was the Sager Steam Clean sticker, and we pulled off the Zipper SS, and, and now we've got this set, and so we're going to put it back together, slap on these stickers, and by golly, that one is done. Well, no, we still got to wrap this top, don't we? We still got to wrap the yeah, top. Yeah, we can do that. We figure this took about a half hour. Let's see if he can figure that out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah, I'll help. He's going to do that and hit her with some heat, and, and look at that. We put the handle back up, and nobody yet has got their fingers pinched. Yeah. Knock on wood. Knock on wood, and uh, we have another one of these to go that. The day is not over. The next side. So we'll get this. Some of this is that never sees on there. It's just transferred over because we want that on the screws. So that those never sees on you and get stuck in there and anodize and blah, blah, blah. And I don't know other words I'd call it, but I called it that now. <laughs> there. <laughs> Steph is just commenting. Steph, on Steph is just. Big words. Big, no big words. Big words. Big words. None. None. So Matt's following old lines. At least trying to, tempting. Put it on crooked. Put it on crooked. <laughs> <laughs> I would be the one to do that. Yeah, that's how I did it last time, just like that. Yeah. Kind of <laughs> just work your way down. Yeah, work. My... <laughs> oh wait, you don't have any wrinkles in it. You didn't do it like me. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I did it that way, I wouldn't be in a rapid <laughs> anymore. <laughs> yeah, we're still not done. Harder one yet to go. <laughs> Steph would kick me out. Steph. No, I'm just kicking the office. That's right. It'd be office work from here on. I can't design. I can't do it at all. <laughs> I can't do this. You can. I can't do this. I can't do <laughs> I think we're pretty good right there. Yeah. Why'd well, you look at that? Oh, I didn't have one of those either. That's well, crazy. I do, but I didn't go get it. Mine doesn't have the nice fancy ends on it. Mine's a Bondo applier. Uh, it, it does the job, right? Yeah. Yeah, I could put some tape on it. I suppose. You got like a smart squeegee? I'm not that smart. Ones. Come on, what are you talking about? Smart squeegee at smart my place? Squeegees. Like finish line squeegees? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a thousand of those. Did they come free with something? I probably got those. I think it was that old like acrylic type yep. Bondo from finish yep. line or, or Mastercraft or whatever it is. See, we haven't even put up this video and people are already calling. Look at that. <laughs> We'd like you to wrap 50 zippers for us tomorrow, please. See that? That's Morpheus Black which yes. does all shadings of colors because right now she's working on, we've got a concept that does color shading and all kinds of stuff here. And we're gonna do my Super 73. Yeah. Oh, the gray is, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Woo! There it is. Oh my goodness, would you look at that? That's what we're talking. Yep, and look at on that now too. So it's gonna go with that gray, with gray, bluish, greens, orange. Oh yeah, we're doing that. I can't come into this shop anymore. I'm gonna be grounded. I know, right? <laughs> I can't. I work Sorry, here and I can't be in here. You're grounded. I'm, no more ordering. I, I should not be here. Putting on the last piece of the first one. So he's gonna get the Zipper SS, which we run on there. We run the Sagers on there for the branding. So there he goes. He's gonna position that. Normally we would measure, but eyeballing it. That works too. Works Gosh, you fit right in with the way I do it. It's perfect. Straight, I wouldn't change a thing. 
Ouija Too late. On. Now you can't. <laughs> <laughs> now we're not going back. Yep. Let's find out. Here comes the reveal. Reveal. Is it going to stick? Whoa. Just like that. Whoa. Oh, I'm not even getting great lighting to show that off. Let me try to get it from this angle, too. Would you look at that? Look at it now. Whoa. That is cool. So this is done. On to this great looking was cover. At one point cover. black. Yeah, it was a nice black and We're gonna you make could it black again. Spray paint it probably with a charcoal, high temperature charcoal grill paint, but we're gonna try wrap material. Just because I am at a wrap joint and I want to just antagonize them as much as I can with difficult projects. He's giving us challenges. Yes. <laughs> Not worried. <laughs> we'll worried, it. Not a bit. Not at all. There's a little bead of sweat on your right brow. You go yeah, ahead and wipe. Yeah, that's that one. You're good now. <laughs> I think that was alcohol, but. <laughs> <laughs> that's you grab a beer. Does it sting? <laughs> a little bit. It's a good way to find how many cuts you have. Oh my gosh. Take that's a handful true. of that. Yeah. I don't think I actually feel my fingers anymore. <laughs> because you were just burning them in I there. I don't even know if they're on fire or they're, yeah. I don't know, it all depends on what. All right. So that's the material we're gonna wrap my Super 73 in, isn't it? Yes, sir. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fun. Well, fun for me to drive and ride, but not as fun for you to wrap. <laughs> I love, no, I love, I love yeah. doing it. Looking at this piece, kind of came, same thought process through the Thinking sides. sending me to Ace Hardware for paint? I'm thinking maybe. <laughs> We'll give it a shot and okay. see what we can do. All right. So we'll start with the sides and kind of work our way up, so to speak. We'll start with the easy ends. Just the easy stuff going up. Yep. Yeah. So kind of like get this one because that's a pretty straight corner. Kind of like we were just building on that back there. We're going to build it in pieces. This is a satin black, so it's not going to have a ton of shine to it. It's perfect. That's what we want. That's kind of the look. It's going to look like what was on there a little bit. Except minus the Scarface tissue stuff. <laughs> that <laughs> adds character. So there's a lot. Don't give him any more excuses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be able to stretch, so I'm going to try. Just He'll trim a, into it. A little bit of trimming after the fact. I'm not going to go in here as one solid piece. Ah, uh, smart. I get it. I think we'll have to do that separate. Yep. So we'll just find a spot and cut it off. Start there. trimming. And there, it's perfect. It's done. Go ahead and put it on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said it, so we might as well throw it back on. We're there. done. All right, so he's hitting all these corners. He's going to then at some point steal the heat gun back. Yep. And when he's ready, not when now. I'm ready. We, we don't take that away from her without losing our fingers. <laughs> so we finished up the sides. Okay. And now we're going to attempt this curve in here. Okay. Which can be tricky. I'm gonna wipe <laughs> it down. So you gotta make it a little bit longer than what, what it looks like so you can warp it into there. Shop dog's going to greet. She, gotta, that's her job. We she got a will, customer. She will greet everybody. And she'll go home with you too. <laughs> Check your car. I had a, so that actually didn't go too bad. We're not done yet, don't celebrate. <laughs> will, <laughs> that is true, I gotta get yeah. it up. Yep. So as long as you take your thumb and just kind of run it in through there. Here we go. So the only real way to get this, I think, is mm -hmm. probably going to be from the top. Okay. So we'll trim it short there, and then we'll use the top and kind of tuck it down. Got there. it. And if we draw blood, we'll edit out. <laughs> I have not cut myself today. Today. That's right. So there's that. So then we'll have to trim it. There it is. I'm going to come back and do the other side. There we go. So that's that's probably the best way to go about it, I believe. Okay. We'll have to do the other side. We'll get rolling on the top. We're going to wrap this top here. And he's just starting with a basic cut hole there. And with that length of that tube there, he's going to try to get that on there and peel it up to it, I'm pretty sure, is what's happening. There it goes! All right, he's back. All right, we're back. We're he gonna was selling attempt. wraps on cars. I was I was doing my job. That's as Steph right. Says. He was trying to make money, <laughs> not this Sager piddly junk that costs some time and money. So yeah, we figure we're gonna attempt it. Yep. With our uh, very educated measurements on where to cut. Go ahead and guess all you want. It's so perfect. Now, it's if I slide this on there, it gets stuck. It'll get stuck, and not go on like I planned. Well, that's okay. Because this is very, very tacky, as you can tell. So if you were a mouse, you're stuck there for a couple days. A couple days at least. A couple days. 
my thought is if I slide it down like that, yep. it gives me enough leeway where I can stretch it. So I'll be back in about 10 minutes with that can of spray paint. I'm getting this feeling this is where this is going. <laughs> Actually, you know, this is going about as smooth as I thought it would. So sure. We're doing good. As smooth as a baby's bottom with a filled up diaper. <laughs> A little rocky, but that smooth. Not, that wouldn't really be smooth anymore. No, well, it could depend on the consistency. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Misplaced my tools. Do you, do you need a knife? I do need a knife. A knife? Place. Was it yellow in color? There's one of them. <laughs> Don't you take your knife. I can I already tell. It. Maybe it's under here. Oh. Nope, it's not there. Make some relief no clue. Notes. We did go over and look at Steph's really cool Mac tools tool. Chest, I should get a have brief like video on that. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> some some people have a crack now I just cocaine see dealer. Whenever he shows up, I get a whole truck that shows oh. up for me, and I'm like, hey, I'm sorry, I can't talk to you right now. My dealer's here. <laughs> I need a new ratchet. The Mac Tool <laughs> truck just showed up. <laughs> he spoils me too. Yeah, and this one has no vibration. It's so smooth nice. on the hands. <laughs> Zing zing! <laughs> You'll have to do a comparison from her toolbox to my toolbox. I saw yours. Yeah. Could you see it over there? It's a little tiny. It's tiny. We <laughs> we get the zoom lens on it's it. We'll get husky. it. It's husky. It's husky. Yeah. I think I had the exact same one, Matt. That's the thing. See? Like, there you go. Yeah. We yeah. don't need all this fancy I green. Stole that and... from my dad. <laughs> Probably gonna have to heat it and stretch yeah. it a little bit. Let me guess. Somebody got that heater too? Steph has the I don't know what you're talking about. It's so. got the shot heater. Now like this. They were earlier they were thawing out the windows out front. <laughs> <laughs> it is Minnesota. And you do have to drive home later, so they got the converter in the truck already for that to defrost off the windows as you're going. So on our next YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> How not to wrap How not top to plate. wrap the top of a zipper one. I always want to make a channel like that. <laughs> yeah. Blocking. Steph says that she doesn't like this at all. <laughs> She's gonna start over, dang it. So just so you know, she's cleaning it again because you don't want any of that residue on there. So rather than drink the alcohol again, we're using it to clean. That's a heck of a moonshine. I, don't want it. <laughs> I like Bud Light. Bud Light. You are from Minnesota. <laughs> no, it just doesn't freeze as fast as Budweiser. <laughs> See, you're here, we're helping. No freeze point. <laughs> so she's trying some tricks of hers. And when it works, you'd have to call her for the secret. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to work either. Has anybody called you about your car warranty yet today? Oh, yes. It expired apparently. Again. Apparently? Again? Yeah. Every yeah. day at around like 4 yeah. or 30 ish, it expires. I go out and I lease another vehicle. And then they call me in the morning and say the same thing. Okay. So, Mark on his wise idiot ideas had a brain cramp thought and he thought, Thanks. wouldn't this be cool if we went with the black and then the blue and then the black on the nozzle again so we go from blue to a black line to blue huh steph what do you think we're gonna set it on fire that's right and <laughs> yeah literally <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't work this time you're gonna see a fire I not just a little one it's fire set everything on fire <laughs> that's right i feel like it today <laughs> just, just don't wanna <laughs> Okay, so we've just taken this apart. This is going to come off. We're going to wrap this the same way. We're going to do black along here and the blue on the top. Steph, how are you doing over there? I'm doing things. You, do I need to bleep bleep anything yet? Bleep bleep bleep. I just do it naturally. Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna. She's going to cut <laughs> along the top there to make that blue stand out, and then the black on the edge. And we're going to do the same thing here. I think we'll leave that. We could take that off. Oh, I did loosen that already. That'll work. I was thinking ahead, at least that part. Gosh. <laughs> we can seam it there. For yeah, you. let's just do that. Let's so. make your life miserable just to seam it. <laughs> miserable. Yeah. Nah, this one's not too bad. Yeah. So I'm going to clean it up and start wrapping that while she's working on that. Right, well, guess what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to go get your hair I'm going to go get my hair cut. Let's see this do. Get more than one, though. <laughs> Steph had a knife in her hand, and here I am doing this. Give <laughs> a haircut. That's right. I, I just cut Matt's hair. Did you? Yeah. Should I reveal it? Let's go for it. Should I oh reveal my, it? Oh my, look at that. I'm going for the mark look now? Yeah, dude, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> look at that fresh haircut and that dirty truck. Yeah, get in the sunlight. Oh yeah, he can't see diddly squat. <laughs> I'm back. 
<laughs> what? Steph is still here. I thought she was stealing away. I'm Ooh, doggy. Look at that thing. That's pretty darn cool, guys. Just Gals. Shop puppy. Time. Come <laughs> on and see us. We got to have puppies on the channel all the time. Definitely. No, that came out really slick. Just about done see? with this one. Well, that's an improvement already, too. No issues with the actual... We haven't done the lid yet, though. No. That's... That's the hard part. That's always the hard part. But we're yeah. getting there. Cool. Well, so we're back to... This is what we got remaining. Matt or Steph wrapped that edge. I wasn't present. But I did wrap that. <laughs> <laughs> I will take the ownership on that He one. took ownership on that. But now he's got to do this dang top lid thing here. Yep. And uh, the last piece of oh my gosh. Yeah. Some sandpaper. Yep, that we might have to sand a little bit. That's a little more corroded than I thought. I apologize. But anyway, we're going to make that so that that blue goes on top of there and we got a matching set. So, no pressure here. But uh, my attempt now is tempt to go with the circle in the middle. And he's going to press down. And it's going to go super slick. There is going to be no problems at all. It's none. It's going none. It's going to go exactly perfect. And then he'll like pull the rest of the backing off on this side. Once no issues. Tuck a little bit. <laughs> no issues at all. None. See? None. It's perfect. It's went on like just like it was made to be. Just because Steph told us how to do it. That's right. See, <laughs> those wrinkles I think are character. Yeah. <laughs> we could leave them if you we want. We could. Oh, yeah. Good. They'll just ask, where'd you get that done at? Okay, <laughs> final results. See here, we got that. It's on top, there's the black on there, and then there's this, we're putting that cover back on. And on this particular one, there is a weight that goes on it, and it's in black, so it's gonna go black to blue to black. It's gonna look pretty spiffy. Steph, it's gonna be spiffy. Spiffy! Spiffy. <laughs> <laughs> gonna have to make that a meme. Steph That's right. Yelling yep. spiffy. <laughs> Scarface is no longer Scarface. Uh, what are we going to call it now? Baby blue and big ba blue. Baby blue and big blue. You know, that fits because this is on the, both of these are on the baby butler. There you go. <laughs> yep. Well, cool. I got to still add the weight to that one, put it on, and I'm going to polish it up and we'll get a final walk around. That looks darn good. Well, I've got them back at the shop and they're looking pretty darn cool. Look at those. Great color, great reflection. Got all the decals all freshened up. I'm gonna work on that bike next, like I say. That's going in before I go, and let's see how Brady proof they are. to see how that does amongst all of this. 